All right, guys, we're back at it again. Um, our fourth clutch has finally hit the ground, so we're going to start this one out with the male here. This is a Enchi Cypress 100% Het Clown. He did some breeding for us this year. Looks like we got one female that's going to go so far this year. So this is the, the beautiful father of the clutch. And we're going to go ahead and get this girl out, get her off these eggs, and get them in the egg box. So right off the bat, we noticed that she kicked out a couple eggs. Um, so don't know what that's about. It looks like she's sitting on maybe one or two. So we're just going to go ahead and grab the ones that we can real quick. Try not to get bit. She does look like she wants to light me up. So we're going to just grab the ones that are loose. Get them in the egg box. She looks very deflated. So it looks like she's sitting on two, which is kind of weird. She only wrapped two, but she's definitely skinny, but it appears to have gotten them all out. So we're just going to set her off to the side here for a second. Get these last two eggs out. I moved your camera angle. What do you mean? When I was showing her. I don't know what you mean. I moved it this way. I moved it this way. Why? Just that habit. Don't do that. Well, yeah, I know. All right, so we're going to get her all cleaned up and fresh tub and washed and all that to get the egg smell off of her. But it looks like we got two, four, six good eggs. The one has a little bit of a boob on it, but I don't see why it wouldn't hatch. No big deal. She's got like a little bit of... um. I don't know what they call like little stars, like crusty, like spurs. I don't know. It's weird. But they all look good. So, yep, six eggs out of this. And she's just a normal clown. So we're going for some entry cypress clowns. Hopefully get the visual, a minimum of visual cypress clown is what I'm shooting for. This is probably my most anticipated clutch of the year that I'm the most excited about at this point. So this is our fourth clutch so far. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this set back up. And... We'll get it in the incubator, and we'll check back in 60-ish, 56 days when we decide to cut. So we'll see you guys here shortly. All right. Well, this is a little bit of a checkup that I don't like having to give usually, but um, it appears that we've had a second egg now go bad out of the cypress clutch. I was kind of had hopes for this one that maybe the... Uh, powder would help you know make it survive but it did not and then now i'm noticing that these got a little bit of pink kind of fungus on them so i'm gonna put a little bit more lotrimin's foot powder on them just give them a little sprinkle don't want to really overdo it but hopefully this will help keep the fungus down then we're going to remove that other egg but hopefully these will go and last, the last incubation, so we've already lost one. So we're down to just four eggs left out of this clutch, which is really sad because I had high hopes for this clutch. But we could still have something cool. But we'll check back if another egg goes bad or if it's time to cut. All right, guys, we're back again. Um, so we don't have an egg cutting for this clutch. Um, as you've seen in a couple of the clips, we've had some eggs go bad. Well, unfortunately... Um, a good portion of the eggs went bad. We ended up with, uh, just three eggs left towards the end and two, they were really starting to get really moldy. So we ended up cutting a couple days earlier than what we normally do. We normally like to cut around day 56. We cut a couple days early just so they could come out and get oxygen if they needed to. Well, two of them were very weak and unfortunately didn't make it. Um, so we only got left with one snake out of the clutch that made it. And she just shed out, so we got her right here. Well, I got double check sex, but I think it's a girl. So now you can... So this girl here, this, just as a reminder, this pairing was a Enchi Cypress Het Clown to a Clown. And we're unsure about why we had issues with the clutch or why we had so many eggs die off. Um, we believe that these is the only surviving female or the only surviving snake is a female yeah it's 100 a female 
and it doesn't seem to have picked up either the Enchi or the Cypress, which we could have just missed the odds, but the thing is the other two babies that were coming out of the egg also were not Enchi and also were not Cypress. So we're almost thinking that this could possibly be a Partho clutch because we didn't hit any of the other genes. It is a female. I didn't check the sex of the other two when they had passed. Um, graphic warning. We do have the babies frozen. And the other thing that was kind of weird is that out of the, the snakes, these are frozen. We preserved them. But they were both clowns. Neither seemed to be Enchi or um, Cypress. So this one here also, if you see, had a cleft palate here. So its nose is missing a little bit there. But so we're wondering if these possibly could have been females also. And that if we had so many issues because this was a partho clutch. Okay, so back to this little girl though. Um, you can see she's got some cool little white, like super white mandings here. And her pattern's really, really busy for just a normal clown. So I actually think that we might do a video on her. I'm thinking about just running a full panel just as a, uh, you know, shot in the dark to see if there's anything else in here that we're not aware of. Um, but yeah, I mean, this concludes this clutch. Uh, she seems to be healthy. She shed fine. Very active, good tongue flips, no deformities. So we're going to actually hold this girl back and keep her. Um, you know, she's a one-off of this clutch. So, okay, so yeah, this is our complete review of clutch number four. Um, we're going to be cutting two other clutches today, so those videos will be coming shortly in the future. But if you guys enjoyed our videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me if you think that this girl could possibly be Partho. We'll see you guys in the next one.